Musicians depend on Onsong to keep their music ready to perform. It's important to make sure that your library is safe and ready to go at a moment's notice. Let's learn a few ways we can do that. First, we recommend making sure that you back up your entire iPad or iPhone's contents. That way, if your iPad or iPhone ever has issues, you can restore its data onto an entirely new device. To create an iCloud backup, just go into the Settings app on your device, tap your Profile, and choose iCloud. Then, make sure the Backup option is turned on. This will ensure the contents of your entire device are saved to iCloud. However, if you just need to get OnSong up and running on a new device, then creating an OnSong backup is the fastest and most assured way to do this. This is because OnSong backup files save everything about your OnSong library, including your songs, saved keys, set lists, settings, and more. To create an OnSong backup, let's first open OnSong. Open the Utilities menu and choose the Backup option. This is where you configure your backup. In the first section, let's pick a place to save our backup. We want to make sure that the file is saved somewhere other than the device we're using in case it's lost, stolen, or damaged. So here, we'll choose Dropbox. The nice thing about Dropbox is that your files are stored in the cloud, so they're secure, but they're also always accessible as long as you have an internet connection. So, let's sign in, tap Allow, and then we'll pick a folder. I'm going to create an OnSong Backups folder, and then choose it. This second section lets you provide a name for the backup. Since I'm using a couple of iPads for our band, I'm going to name this backup Vocal iPad. You'll also note this Append a Timestamp to the File Name line. OnSong has the ability to attach the time and day that a backup was made to that backup file. But this can create a lot of files very quickly, especially if we enable automatic backups. Generally, OnSong suggests that we disable this option, so we'll just make sure this is switched to off. And finally, on this line, we can select what types of media we want to be included with our backup. All of these look pretty good to me, so I'll select Done. In the last section, we can turn on Automatic Backup. Backup files are the most useful if they're up to date and you've got a lot of things on your mind, so OnSong can remember to save a backup automatically so you don't have to. We'll pick a frequency to save the backup file, like every week, for instance. We can also decide here if we want to make sure OnSong only backs up when we are connected to Wi-Fi, as opposed to using cellular reception if you currently have a data plan for your device. But once we're all ready, we can tap on the Close button up here, and OnSong will create a backup in about a week and upload it to Dropbox. Just keep in mind that OnSong needs to be up and running for all backups to take place. Of course, though, you don't need to wait for OnSong to back up. Just tap on the Backup button in the upper right corner at any time to initiate a backup. You'll see a full status of the backup at the bottom of the screen, including how long it takes for the backup file to be created and uploaded. When it's all done, you'll see when the latest backup was made. Lastly, let's look over how to restore a backup on your device. Let's say your iPad or iPhone was lost, stolen, or run over by your own car, like mine was. We can restore our backup by grabbing another device, installing OnSong, and importing the backup file to get up and running fast. To do this, let's open the Songs menu, make sure we're viewing All Songs, then tap on the Import button here. Choose Dropbox, Sign in, and tap on our OnSong Backups folder we created earlier. Here we can see the backup file we just saved. Just tap on it, and OnSong asks you where you'd like to import the backup file to. You can choose New Library, which will restore the backup to a newly created library in OnSong. 
but since this is already a fresh copy of Onsong, I'm just going to pick Overwrite. After you select the destination of your Onsong backup, the file is downloaded and restored, and you're ready to rock in about a minute or two. Backing up your Onsong library is the single most important thing you can do as a musician. Make sure that you always have a backup plan in case your equipment fails. With Onsong, you'll always have the tools you need to be confident on stage. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.